Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel MS Maths. In this video, we are going to discuss about the solution of ordinary differential equation by using Laplace transformation. So we know about that Laplace transformation. What is the Laplace transform? And uh, if you watch the video of the Laplace transform, the full content is available in my playlist. Now we are going to discuss about the solution of ODE by Laplace. So what is the process to solve the ODE? So in this video, we'll discuss with example also. So first of all, there are two cases like uh, if I'm going to uh, like discuss about the uh, like second degree differential equation that will be the constant coefficient differential equation then the, uh, it is nothing but a second order constant coefficient differential equation. So second order constant coefficient differential equation is a d 2 y by dx square plus b d y by dx plus this. And we can also write like uh, d by dx is nothing but d and uh, like d 2 by dx square is nothing but d2 by using the abbreviation like d okay now like this type of differential equation can be easily solved by using the laplace transform but there is a condition there is there must be we have like uh, must uh, uh, bvp or ivp if we have initial values or boundary values then we can use the laplace transform otherwise we can't use the laplace transform because of that there are some conditions so what is the process to solve the Laplace uh, like uh, differential equation by the Laplace transform? So, the, so there are some steps. So I am talking about the steps. The first step is taking Laplace transform, taking Laplace transform both side, like uh, both side in the sense this term will take the Laplace transform of the end. This term also will take the Laplace transform and solve by jo hume basically uh, there is a uh, like there will be a uh, algebraic equation like uh, equation type term and uh, uh, by uh, like uh, solve by ivp okay putting the ivp or like sometime if we have bvp and uh, we'll solve it and then again after solving this we'll take inverse laplace okay inverse laplace transform then we'll get our function because like uh, in La in taking laplace we'll convert function fx to fs or we can say ft to fs it means uh, we use a parameter in laplace okay we will convert the function into a parameter and then after taking inverse laplace we will get back into our original function or original type of uh, differential equation now basically there is a theorem which we will use in this uh, concept there is the laplace transform of derivative function if the derivative if a function is n time derivable then f and dx is nothing but a derivative like n times than laplace transform was this is nothing but s and s is a parameter you can say s is greater than zero s r n okay this is the form and this form will use in this case but this is the general form we will we will use for only two terms like only two derivatives okay now s power n fs now see here if a function is fx and the laplace of that function is small fs it is denoted by this then the derivative of that uh, that uh, like the derivative of that function uh, like the laplace transform also so s bar n f bar n f s bar n this is nothing but the laplace transform of ft now s bar n minus 1 it means s bar n minus 1 means like that uh, derivative one uh, like uh, less than one if if there is a derivative 2 then there will be 2 minus 1 it will be the one and also this is the function this is the original function and we will put original function 0 okay and also so on like uh, up to uh, like uh, n minus 1 derivative if if i'm i'm calculating s is here like n minus n is nothing but 0 s power 0 is 1 so i am not writing here okay so this is the general generalized term which we will use in this concept so now uh, like what is the value for this only this term like i'm talking about like uh, uh, d2 y by dx is so simply if we have this term then we will substitute a term here if we have this term then we will substitute and the laplace transform of this is nothing but and we can also write that d2y now let you have to consider here the laplace of y is small like laplace of y is nothing but y bar s i can write this also so what we will use here now here d2 okay there is a derivative like two terms two times derivative here so we will write here s square and here f s bar okay like uh, sorry for that here it will be not n so it is nothing but s square y bar it means the laplace of that function minus s 2 minus 1 it means s power 1 the function 
which is zero like f like y this is the y and this is the y zero okay zero is nothing but any uh, like uh, a condition and then there is a again a function that is y zero now here this is the derivative okay now here s zero like this is the last term you can say that s minus uh, like uh, two minus two or uh, like uh, n minus n basically two minus two here s two minus one and here s two minus two it is nothing but one okay so i am not writing here so this is the y dash zero okay so this term we will put here or we will substitute here now second term if we have dy by dx and the we want to calculate the laplace transform of dy by dx then what we will do here same same thing is here now i can write this is also d1 by so it is nothing but d1 okay i am starting here one and this is the y bar s minus next term is one minus one so this is the next term or you can say that this is the next term one minus one like automatically this is the term so that is nothing but y0 so these terms we will substitute here and we can calculate the value of the uh, ordinary differential equation now the general like the generalized term will be a into a into s square y bar i am writing like ju like just y bar here and this is nothing but uh, y uh, sorry s y0 minus y dash 0 okay minus there is a y0 y dash 0 plus b and i am substituting this this term here dy by dx it is nothing but s okay this is the s power 1 not s dash okay minus y0 and here is a y and laplace transform of y we have considered y bar s okay y bar s or simply you can write y bar only and there's the nothing but laplace transform of this function whatever the function we will find the laplace transform of that function and uh, we can easily calculate the value of the laplace transform so this is the uh, working system and working rule or the theory of the uh, solution of the ordinary differential equation and now we discuss about a question and we will solve this question and uh, how can we solve this question uh, like this then the thing but uh, second order differential equation and uh, i can write this equation differential equation like this d2y over dx square plus 9y is equals to cos of 2x this is the equation number one okay and we can use like this if we put the d2 y by dx is here then uh, this is d2 now this is the second order differential equation and the form of the differential equation is a constant coefficient and we have also the boundary value problem here so that uh, here the thing is uh, like uh, if we have a boundary value problem or like uh, it is not initial value problem okay this is the not boundary value problem this is basically initial value problem okay so we have two initial points and we will calculate this thing okay now here like uh, um, if i want to calculate the differential uh, solution of this differential equation and we can calculate this differential equation solution by using laplace transform we have sufficient condition here so first thing is here taking laplace transform first step is here our solve like taking laplace transform now taking laplace transform both side of equation number one so the laplace transform of d2y plus laplace transform of 9y is equals to laplace transform of cos of 2x and considering here the laplace transform of y is nothing but y bar okay and simple the, the laplace transform of d2y is nothing but this thing so we can substitute here y square uh, s square y bar this is the laplace transform of y minus s y minus this is the y and this is y zero okay and minus s s is zero here and this is nothing but y dash zero plus nine is constant outside and this is the y bar is equal to so now laplace transform of the cos of 2x is nothing but uh, uh, s upon s upon s square plus 4 we can uh, we know the formula of the laplace transform s upon s square plus a square a is nothing but 2 so now here we have a condition y0 is equals to 1 and let y double y dash 0 is equals to a we have not we have not a but we have 1 by 2 and after calculating this thing we will ca calculate this constant also okay so now here s square y bar minus s and it is 1 and it is minus a 
plus it is 9 y bar is equals to s upon s square plus 4 i am taking the constant uh, taking common here then s square plus 9 is equals to s plus a plus s upon s square plus 4 here so now y bar we have to free this thing so that we can take inverse laplace and we can find the solution of y that is nothing but uh, inverse laplace transform of y bar is nothing but y that is the solution of differential equation so it is s square plus 9 and i am I'm putting this here so s square plus 9 plus a upon s square plus 9 plus this is nothing but s upon s square plus 4 s square plus 9 here now if i am taking the lap inverse laplace transform before going to that we have solved this partial uh, partial derivative uh, so sorry partial uh, fraction okay so how can we solve this partial fraction is s upon s square plus 4 s square plus 9 it is nothing but ax plus when when we have the s square second degree here then we will use ax plus b upon s square plus 4 plus cx plus d upon s square plus 9 here okay and uh, now here uh, we can easily solve by using ordinary method but i am not talking about that i will uh, i will tell a trick here so what is so what will be the trick here so now first thing is here take common s from here okay take common s from here and write s square plus 4 minus 1 upon s square plus 9 if i am writing in this way then uh, you can see here like consider a and like this term is one this term is one then if i'm writing and i'm taking the lcm like this you can see here s square plus 4 s square plus 9 this term this term got cancelled but there is a remaining one sorry five nine minus four five but we we have one here we we just want one only in numerator so basically uh, to create one here divide five here so it is nothing but 1 upon s plus 4 minus 1 upon s square plus 4 you can calculate this thing by here b will be 0 d will be 0 and uh, here is not x you have to write here s because there is a variable is s then a is 1 by 2 and b is minus 1 by 2 okay a is 1 by 2 b is minus 1 by 2 that's the thing you can check that thing but this is the simple way and by using trick we can easily solve this okay now we can put here so y bar is nothing but s upon s square plus 9 plus a upon s square plus 9 plus this is 1 upon 5 1 upon 5 s upon s square plus 4 minus 1 upon 5 i am multiplying this thing s upon s square plus 9 this is nothing but 9 okay now i am taking the inverse laplace to so the inverse taking inverse laplace taking inverse laplace transform so it is y and this is the value s upon s square plus a square cos of 3x so it is cos of 3x it is a upon a sine of ax but not a here is a 9 so i can i can write this laplace inverse of a upon s square plus 9 but i can write also hmm, okay now i can write this thing is like as 1 upon so now see here sine laplace transform i'm writing here uh, Laplace transform of sine of ax is nothing but a upon s square plus a square. If I am writing a is here, so 1 upon a, it means it is nothing but a upon 3. a is 3 here. a upon 3 uh, sine 3x plus 1 upon 5, it is cos of 2x minus 1 upon 5 cos of 3x here okay so now we have to calculate the value of a and we have ivp here y pi by 2 is equals to minus 1 so it is the value of x i'm putting x is here so it is nothing but cos of 3 pi by 2 plus a by 2 it is sine of 3 pi by 2 plus 1 by 5 is here i am taking common this term and this is the cos of 2 pi by 2 cos pi minus this is the cos of 
3 pi by 2 and by using this like this is the uh, term and we can easily solve this term by using and uh, we will calculate the whole thing like here 0 uh, like uh, the like this value is 0 this is uh, 1 sine 3 pi by 2 is nothing but 1 by 2 and plus 1 by 5 cos pi is uh, uh, like uh, 0 minus 1 cos pi is minus 1 and this is also 0 3 pi by 2 okay minus 1 is equals to 0 plus a by 2 and it is pi plus pi plus pi by 2 pi plus pi by 2 minus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 4 and it is minus 1 here and that will be the 0 so by using this we can easily calculate uh, the value of a here uh, the a will be uh, 9 a by 3 oh, okay this is not uh, a by 2 it is a by 3 sorry for that a by 3 and uh, a by 3 a by 3 and this is minus 1 so minus 1 plus 1 by 5 i am taking this term is here and it is nothing but minus of a by 3 into 2 so i am writing here it is the 5 minus 1 minus 5 by minus 4 by 5 so uh, minus 4 by 3 and okay 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 there is a 1 only and minus 1 sine pi plus pi by 2 sine pi by 2 is 1 okay so this is minus 1 there is no 2 so the value is like this the term okay you can solve this equation by simple way minus a by 3 and this is the 4 by 5 minus minus got cancelled a by 3 or a is nothing but 12 by 5 or you can also substitute this term like uh, we can easily put this whole term is 5 by uh, 4 by 5 okay so here is 4 by 5 and i am just writing here so this is nothing but 4 by 5 so this is the complete solution of this differential equation so by this we can easily calculate but uh, there is a important thing is that like we have to calculate the partial fraction here and uh, we know about the laplace inverse what will be the laplace inverse of the functions i hope you understand all the concepts of the solution of the constant coefficient differential equation and uh, the ivp problems so thanks for watching my video keep watching ms maths and uh, for more videos please subscribe the channel like the video and share this thank you bye, -bye.